Jeeps, Jeeps, and more Jeeps at the Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. There are thousands of Jeeps here for the next three days. And if you're a Jeep enthusiast or you might want to become one, take a look. Look at these things. He's got, he even brings his own rock. What a beautiful vehicle. This is what's happening in Pigeon Forge this weekend. The Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. And we invite you to join along with us on Vacation Station TV, where we bring you the best of the Smokies. And this is what it's all about. Check out some of these Jeeps. These people put a whole lot of time and money into making these things just unbelievably beautiful. I mean, this thing is set up for real off-road and some serious driving. Now, if you'd like to know where this is, it's at the LeConte Center in Pigeon Forge. Uh, right, uh, actually, if you go to the island, that's probably your quickest way. Take the road through the island, and uh, you'll find yourself at the Jeep Invasion. Very nice. So it looks like it could do some damage on the trails, no doubt. Once again, always like, comment, and subscribe. Help this station grow, as Marie says. Remember, we don't want to have to sell her for medical experiments. People come from all over the United States to take part in this Jeep Fest, Jeep Run, or the Jeep Invasion. It started out, now we were here a little over five years now, and it was a moderate. There were a few Jeeps, and people would come in, and they're always cool to look at, but this thing has exploded into a mega meeting of all Jeep enthusiasts, and it it's not all just the mudders, you know, the ones that just go in the mud. No, no, no. There's Jeeps here from World War II on up. All different styles, whether it be the Rubicon or the Sahara or the regular CJ series. Everybody's got their own take on what they, um, what they like. And it's about Jeeps. It's all about Jeeps. There's no antique cars. I've driven around. And, um... There's no antique cars, which I'm a real antique car enthusiast, but I love Jeeps because I had a Sahara. I had, um, you can actually see pictures on some of the intros of our videos. I had a Sahara and a Land Rover, and uh, they both were equally different, and um, they both did different things. The Jeep went into the <laughs> intense mud and the intense craziness, and the Land Rover would go anywhere the Jeep couldn't go. 
I could go places with my Land Rover that the Jeep guys go, how did you do that? And it just, um, it's just the vehicle. Uh, it's got a, you know, the Land Rover has an eight cylinder engine in it and it's, it's known for what it, uh, it does. I mean, you, you have to admit, in the Sahara Desert and uh, some of the other places, Afghanistan and Iraq, they use Land Rover because it does what Jeeps can't do. But Jeeps are fun. My uh, my Sahara was a heck of a lot of fun to drive around. I enjoyed it. Look at this one, Boss Frog. This is cute. And the Grinch, both green. That is cool. Loud and clear. <laughs> oh, these are so cool. I can't imagine the amount of money that some of these guys put into these vehicles. And they're very proud of them. And rightfully so. This event has uh, gotten huge over the years, and I, I anticipate this will become one of the bigger um, draws, one of the bigger meets uh, to rival even the rod run. You're going to find that um, Jeeps are plentiful and people enjoy them, and um, they have all the parts you could possibly need inside. Well, I'll show you. Uh, inside, you can buy all the cool stuff, all the aftermarket, goodies that you would like to put on your Jeep and they could become like for instance up on top there that's an LED bar This is ready to go off the road. Even has not only the light bar on the front, but there are the directional extra lights that you need um, to, uh, especially when you're going mudding and you have maybe a deep hole or rut you have to negotiate, you just turn those things and it's lit and ready to go. Talk with me. Hi. Nice black sheep. Thank you. Where are you from? Uh, oh. You say so you drove all the way up here for the Jeep Fest. Very good. In the black sheep. Yeah. Very. And the ride is nice. Yeah. It is. Yeah. We took some scenic roads and it's very beautiful down this way. Now you have the Sport Wrangler. I had the uh, the uh, the Sahara, and they're both very much the same, except this is more rugged and it's designed to really having a ball in. Yeah. The Sahara is like, oh, oh, we're driving to the coffee shop. <laughs> you know, I understand. Very nice. How long have you had it? Uh, almost two years. And where else do you go from here? Uh, do you ever go in any other meets? And it appears you have the family. Yes, absolutely. Hi. Hello. You're on. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you're on Vacation Station TV. Oh, wonderful. Thank so you. if you get a chance, you got your phone out, go to YouTube, Vacation Station TV, and you'll be up there like within uh, two hours. But you'll see all our other stuff that we do here. Okay. So now, this event basically is just kind of a meet and greet, isn't it? It is. The, I mean, you can all go in there and buy all the aftermarket stuff, which I don't think you need. <laughs> Did you already go in there? No, with us, uh, of our stuff, we're just waiting on our Jeep crew. We okay. decided to set out on this this year to go where we didn't go and go into convention center. Now, normally when you go, do you buy more accoutrements for your vehicle? Yes. Yeah, I could imagine. I did yeah. too. I bought mine and then 
two weeks later, you didn't even recognize it. I loved it. Eh, my wife didn't appreciate that when the credit card bill came in. Not at all. But you, you have this decked out very nicely. It's unassuming. It's a cruise right by you, and you wouldn't notice it. Some of these, it's, they scare me. They're so <laughs> tall. You know, it's like, oh, that thing, that's going to hurt me. If it made a, a wrong turn, it would go right over you. Do you, do you take this on the trails? Yes. Really? We do. After here, we're going to the Dragon's Tail. You're going to go to the Dragon's mm -hmm. Tail. How does this handle on the tail? It handled very well the last time we were down here last year at the Frasia. And this year, we're going with a bigger group, and we're going to enjoy it. Now, how many of you go when you go? Really? Mm -hmm. And you all kind of like keep together? Uh -huh. And you, you stop where you all stop and then you get and you go and you go. Yeah. Very good, very good. And you're all from Kentucky? Uh -huh. yes. So very good. So now where's the next event you're going to go to? Uh -huh. Are there any? Well, on the way back home we're going to go to that Brushy Mountain, State, State, State Penitentiary, and Nemo's Tunnel. And what's Nemo's Tunnel? It's an old abandoned train tunnel. I think it's in uh, Wartburg, Tennessee or something like that. And you go through it? Yes. And what, how long is it? It takes about five, six minutes to drive through it. Is it twisty turny straight through or just it one of those you scream in? Sort of, yeah, sort of turns, but it's, Very it's all water. Really? It's a flooded train track, train track. And you don't mind getting your Jeep dirty? No. 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 That's the nice thing about Jeep, you hose them out. Yeah. Right? You just, you just you take the kids out, of course, first before you, well, you might want to hose them out anyway. You never know. But that's the nice thing about them. You just hose them out and nothing happens to them. And that's the best part of having a Jeep. The Jeep craze, I guess, took over the last 10, 15 years. Uh -huh. uh, before that, there were people that had them. But now it is quite overwhelming, the amount of Jeeps that are in this town today. Yeah. In the thousands, if not tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how long have you been up here? We came in yesterday and we'll leave on Sunday. So you're doing the whole thing? You're doing the three-day stint. Okay, very good. And uh, where are you going to go for it? You're going to hang out here, and then what's next? Uh, tell the dragon. Today? Yes. We're oh, I thought that was tomorrow. Oh no, we're leaving from here, going to the tail of the dragon. Wow. And then we're going to be doing another ride tomorrow. I think it's over in the Dragon's Tail. Yeah. 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 So you're going to make your way to Cherokee because uh -huh. that's your way back. Very good. So I mean, you're making a real, uh, a real vacation of this. Yeah, very good. Absolutely. Very good. Is that your kids? Yeah. It is. Your dad's cool. Just remember that. He's cool. And mom is too. They're cool. You don't find many parents that do all this type of stuff. Otherwise, they'd be in a rocking chair on a mountain in a cabin, right? But I don't see you doing that. I don't get that impression. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. You enjoy this? Yes. And what do you guys talk about when you're back and dad's acting crazy? Yeah. What do you do? You don't just look at the phone, do you? No? <laughs> you got a lot of good scenery. Have you made it up to the Foothills Parkway with this? Uh, not this year. Last year we had. Last year. You were, so you were there for the opening, or at least you saw the opening of the... Um... Yes, we did. And we will take that out to the Tail of the Dragon. Ah, very good. Because, yeah, that that's really quite... There's where there's some scenery, my friend. That's just amazing up there. I don't live too far from there, about six miles from there. Oh, I, okay. I go there just to cool off. If I get stressed or something, I just drive up to the, the uh, what do they call the missing link, you know, that high point, uh -huh. just pull over the side of the road and enjoy it. Yeah. And I, I'd love to see all you guys out there. What a trip, what a picture that would be, all the Jeeps lined up on the, uh, the missing link. Oh, great. Thank you for talking with me. Well, thank you. Vacation Station TV, like and subscribe, and check out all the other crazy videos. This is what it's all about at the Smoky Mountain Jeep invasion and it is let me tell you it is an invasion uh as of wednesday and, and i'm always around town all over between gatlinburg and Sevierville, and here in between that i noticed a lot of jeeps coming into town and so i googled it and i found out that uh, for three days through the 22nd there's going to be the smoky mountain jeep invasion and that tickled my fancy because I am a Jeep enthusiast, a Jeep fan. I don't own one at the moment. One can never tell what I'm going to buy, <clears throat> especially when it comes to toys. 
That's what my wife hates, because I like to buy toys. Just look at all the Jeep. Everyone has its own signature. Everyone has its own personality. This bright yellow one here, very nicely done, very clean, and then extreme terrain red. So you have the total opposites, the yellow and the red, and then the dark blue for the Rubicon. Now notice the difference. These are all uh, jacked up. They have the extra uh, wide tires and the suspension. And this one's a little more subtle than Stormtrooper. I like that. Very Star Wars indeed. You got two light bars, one up above and then one below. And a winch system. Gotta have the winch. I, one of the first things I bought when I had my Jeep is the winch system. And I bought the roof rack, which I didn't see a lot of people with the. Uh, I had the complete rack that surrounded the whole thing. Because I did a lot of camping. And another happy Jeep enthusiast. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> Don't call my wife. Very good. That's classic. That is excellent. Yoshi. He's a Wrangler. This is the chief model. This is the sport model. Once you start to understand, you know Jeeps you can do, and then the Wrangler Unlimited. The Wrangler and the Wrangler Unlimited is, is um, the little differences, they have a little bit more accoutrements, the goodies. Another Wrangler Unlimited. Another one. The, the Sahara is more of the luxury, and it's probably something you wouldn't want to do and take out in, in the nasty weather or going mudding. You'd rather have a Wrangler or Rubicon um, because they, they can handle it and literally you can hose them out. I'm not kidding. I used to hose mine out all the time. You just you take out everything that's precious or special and then you get the hose and you wash it out. That's what's nice about Jeeps. Here's the baby Hulk. Nice bright green. Very cute, very, very cute. Look at that. Tell me that's not really nice. Poison Ivy, as it's called. There's another elevated one. Mule Town, JK Unlimited. That's a ring. Nicely set up. Nicely pointed. This is why we have a special situation. But speaking of mirror, look at this one here. I don't know if I can get that. For those who serve, we thank you. Semper Fi, a Marine. That's what, it's, it's America. And I <laughs> I'll put this in there, I don't know if I'll edit it out or not. I can tell you one thing, BLM and Antifa wouldn't have a chance if they came here with all these Jeep people. These people are Americans, they are not Democrats, they are not liberals, these people are Americans. So, you guys stay away. Not a smart thing to do. It's starting to drizzle a little bit, but that's okay. I'll deal with it. I want to show you, so here's the Rubicon. This is really like the off-road. Look, it's the Gladiator. Ta-da. Ta-da. Very nice. Another Rubicon. You can see the difference. You clearly see the difference from a CJ or one of the other models. Just look at the difference. The quality is there. And this is a fairly new one, too. This is very nice. Her Highness, that's what I call my wife, I call Marie, Her Majesty. Yes, my liege. Drop Top Jeep Club. Very nice. Very, very nice. Raptor. Just a lot of really nice Jeeps. Another Rubicon. There's the Sport Wrangler. Another Sport Wrangler. You can tell the difference. If you look carefully, look at the edging around the doors and around the fenders. The Sport is very basic, 
because most of the time they take them off the road. But then when you get to the Rubicon, notice the way that it's built around the doors and around the fenders. It, it, it's just, there's more quality in the Rubicons. I'm not saying this is lesser quality, there's just more quality in the Rubicons. They're built tough. You, you look at it and you can just tell this thing is built tough. And if you look behind, there's, there's a typical Rubicon, you know, the regular model Jeep, and then look at this. Vast difference. Not that it's less, it's just different. Ocean City Jeep Club. If you can read this, roll me over. Right there. If you can read this, roll me over. Another Wrangler. This is Sahara. The Saharas have all the goodies. They have, you know, the AM FM stereo, the comfortable seats. Um, better to drive in. If you're going to do long driving, uh, that's why I got the Sahara, because I would drive mine all over. I go to different stages in the Sahara. And you would, um, uh, they get a little buggy. Jeeps can be, especially when they have the bigger tires, and it's the shorter model, not the longer model. Uh, they get like, uh, they get buggy. They, they hop. So if you get the bigger four-door model, and you get the Rubicon or the Sahara, you, you can have a more uh, smoother ride. Um, it'll be a different ride than when you're going mudding. Look how nice. Really very nice. Really classy stuff here. This just goes on and on and on. Look at that. Different color blue. Never seen one quite like that. And then on this side, I really I failed to turn to the left because I was so, so um, attracted to all the ones that were on the other side. I'll show you this side of the road. I mean, this just goes on and on. standard type of G a Jeep Unlimited. It's a standard two-door sport model. It's the Unlimited. I mean, as you can see, it's just Jeeps everywhere. And there's a sprinkling of regular cars, but for the most part, it's Jeeps everywhere. Amazing. Just Jeeps everywhere. For those of you who are enthusiasts, there's no want for Jeeps. Every imaginable design, shape, color, um, aftermarket goodies, it's just, it's unlimited. And that's the cool thing about Jeep. You start with a blank canvas and then you make it your own. You just make it your own. And that's cool. Here's a much older Jeep. This is a CJ series. Notice the difference in the grill, the headlights, the tininess. Now, you want a, a Jeep that has a buggy ride. This thing goes, ee, 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 ee. I mean, they go ee, 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 when they go. But I bet this thing can just scream through the mud because it's small enough and the tires are big enough to take it to anything. This is like a lot like <clears throat> the World War II stuff. Now, the inside, I'm sure, is not even close, but very, very basic, as you can see. Uh, all metal, rubber mats just so your feet don't slide. Um, those, that's all aftermarket. But for the most part, Jeep was metal. This was added later. The seats you, you can add to. But like I say, you can hose them out. You take your personal stuff out, you can hose all this stuff right out of there. Very good. Well, I got to show you what a, a CJ series is. Very nice. A lot of them I notice now have that light bar. That's something that you couldn't get too long ago. They were hard to find. Little Buddha. This is Little Buddha. I have the body of a god. Beast off road. Iconic Jeep Club. I guess all these guys belong to it. An iconic Jeep Club armor. Iconic to all these guys. Battered Betty. Beast Off-Road, Rubicon. 
Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm impressed. This is what it's all about, my friends. That's why I'm glad you joined us on the station today. Thank you for joining us on Vacation Station TV. I had a lot of fun. I personally had a heck of a lot of fun doing this. I hope you did too. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out, of course, the next video that you'll see over here. Don't know what it is. I've got a bunch of them ready to go up, but to subscribe to the station and the little bell, ding, 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 and the little bell will tell you that a new video is there and you need to watch it. And we'll see you all again real soon. Yeah.